Hello friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. We are unboxing something very exciting. It is the Asker box. I've forgotten what year this is. I think it might be the Goblet of Fire one. Maybe the Order of the Phoenix. I guess we shall find out. It's probably written in the title though. Before I do get started though, I would like to mention that this box is no longer called the Asker box. What? That's right, they've recently rebranded from the Asker box to the Wizarding Trunk. So if you are interested in this box, that is what they are known as now. So there you go. Now, before we get started, if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go because... <sighs> Magic! I feel as though Errol dropped this a little bit on the way. Okay then, so here we have the Asga box, the final Asga box, because soon to be the Wizarding Trunk. This has been a little bit bashed up, but that just happens sometimes when owls travel quite far. I believe these boxes are from America and I live all the way in England, so I'm not mad about it, it's all good. I'm really excited about this, I really wish that I could remember which one it is. This box has been kindly sent to me for free, by the way, to review for you guys. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay, I have got a knife, so I'm just just gonna open this on up. I have not had any spoilers for this box, which is quite miraculous. Let's have a look. I'm gonna give you guys cheeky sneak pee. Woo, hello. Things are falling out. It is Goblet of Fire themed because I can see dragon eggs. Okay then, so here we have the cheat sheet, I believe. Yep, so there's 15 items that I've just seen. It says, a report on cauldron bottom thickness and the need for regulation, August 30th, 1994. So I like their cheat sheets. They make them feel like um, parchment paper, which is pretty snazzy. This box is quite full, so let's see what we've got. We've got another piece of parchment here. <laughs> okay, so it's this society promoting elfish welfare and it is a very long note which says do i read it all probably not i'll read the first bit though it says hello and welcome to the society promoting elfish welfare along with this letter you will be receiving your badge please display it with pride whenever anyone asks what it means make sure to let them know just how mistreated our elfish friends are and what our short and long-term goals are etc etc so this is clearly written by Humani, who is the spew founder i know we're not meant to call it spew but it's just the easy way to do it but yeah really quite nice i do like these paper replicas in boxes i like the letter ones i've received quite a few in the past and it just feels like I've been sent it myself, which is quite nice. So that's a cute little start. Oh, okay, this is, uh... oh my God, is this, oh my God, is this, Re... is this Rita Skeeter in a bottle? She was a little beetle and Hermione puts her in a bottle because Ooh, no one likes Rita Skeeter, do they? Oh, it's got a label on it. Okay, let's open this, shall we? So it says, hello. I hope your holiday is going well. My parents are taking me away on a trip and I cannot take our reporter friend with me. This jar is unbreakable, but please do not drop her. Thank you and see you soon. So that's obviously written by Hermione as well. This is actually hilarious. There is this green beetle type thing, though it kind of also looks like a turtle. I'm not going to lie. But I know I'm probably not meant to take it out, but I'm going to. So there is a stick here with, <laughs> it looks like a turtle, it does. But I, it is a bug. It's got, it looks like a ladybug kind of thing. Kind of wish the bug was a little bit nicer made because it's got really nice kind of real, um, it's like moss, but it's real. I don't think that's fake. And the stick is real as well. So yeah, got my own little Rita Skeeter beetle in a bottle. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. I've never seen this kind of thing in a subscription box relating to Harry Potter before. It's not something that I've seen it on Etsy either. It's a really nice idea and I wish I thought of it myself to be honest. Yeah, nice start. Like the little note as well. Okay then, let's get on with the rest of the box. So we have got some artwork here and let's see what they are of. Okay, so there's two things in here. There is Fred and George where they aged because they broke the anti-aging barrier and tried to cheat it. And it says the only time they got to grow, oh my God, that's heartbreaking. The only time they got to grow all together. Uh, why would you do that? Oh my God. 
That's really sad. Well, let's move on from that. I think we don't need to be sad. Uh, and then here we have got the dragon challenge eggs. So all of the eggs that were um, in the first Triwizard competition thing, they're quite nice. It's an exclusive Asgabox print by Twilling and Tattings. I believe that I have heard of that company before or that artist before. Yeah, they're quite cute. Nice little random egg drawing. Okay, so the box is still full. There are many, many wiggly worms. What is this? What? Looks like a sick bag that you get in aeroplanes. Oh, no way. Okay. Oh, she's cute. Oh, she's so cute. It's Rita Skeeter's quill. <gasps> I've always wanted one of these. It's so beautiful. This is going straight onto my shelf. I might put it onto this Flourish and Blotch shelf, even though it's a fantastic bee shelf, just because I've got inks over there and some quills over here. Um, this is nice. And I think, I mean, I probably wouldn't actually dip this into ink because of all this furry feathers thing. But I think if it didn't have the feathers there, it would work. It is an actual ink nib. I do have a quite a collection of those because I do quite like to draw and um, write with a quilt on ink occasionally. But this is really nice. That's gonna be my favorite thing in the box, I think, unless they surprise me with something else. That That's beautiful. That's really, really cool. Random that came in a little bag, but I get it, protection, because this is quite, oh, what a lovely start. This box is thrilling me so far. Okay then, let's move on. We have got, oh, I can see something that looks like a bath product in here. Here it is. So it says, Prefects Bath Bath Bomb Chunks. What is a bath bomb chunk? The scent is lemon, lime, and lavender. Before you open this bag for a bath, be sure to speak the magic word or suffer the mermaid's wrath. Password is pine fresh. So how to use this, you open the package and add bath bomb chunks to bath water. It may also be used as a foot soak by adding a small portion of the chunks to a foot spa. I hate the word chunk, sorry. Let's give this a sniff, shall we? Ooh. It is chunky. You can see the chunks. It's multicolored. Smells. I kind of smell. I can smell the lime. It kind of smells um, like something baked. Baked goods, maybe? Maybe. Um, I like the concept. It's weird that there's chunks. There are actual little chunks in here. Quite a lot in there as well, which is nice. Does smell like baked goods though. I'm not sure why. I'm not a big fan of baked goods unless they're edible. But yeah, I will give it a go though. Maybe give my feet a little soak. Okay, let's move on. I can see a patch for your clothes, which is the SPEW patch and it's a little dobby head. Um, not the biggest fan of that. I, I never know what to do with patches, but I like that it's an addition because it is relevant to this year. <gasps> Ooh, okay. I'm holding this and let's all guess what's inside here because do you remember that there was like a pouch? Is this gonna be red? Ooh, I can feel something. It's not what I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be the little bag of coins or the little pouch of dragons. It's a dragon egg. I think they have put a dragon egg like this in, or is it another subscription box like this before? And they're kind of made out of this clay that can be baked. These are handmade, I can see the fingerprints in it. Just not the biggest fan of the eggs that are made this way, that's just personal preference. I mean, yeah, the leg, I get it. Eh. It is quite sh <laughs> I was expecting like the golden egg, that would have been cool. I just don't understand, is this one of the... This must be the Swedish, it's hard scaled shell, color shifts, pa pastel shades, a white pearlescent sheen. There is a little sheen on it, but uh, yeah, it, it, I personally do not like it. <laughs> Okay, we I've just found the pin and it's actually really sweet because this character doesn't really get represented very often. At first glance, you might think that it's Dobby, but it's not because A, the elf is wearing a dress and B, holding a bottle of liquor. So this is Winky, the house elf, the disgraced elf, they've called it. <laughs> but yeah, it's actually quite nicely made. I'm not sure what enamel this is. It, it's hard enamel, I think, but it looks a little bit, I'm not sure. 
either way, little elf, if you're a pin collector, can be cute. Winky doesn't get represented very often. Let's have a look. What else is it? Ooh, ooh, okay. You know how I was saying, like, would you like a golden egg? We've got one. So this is by a company which is Alchemy for the Skin. We have seen this brand before in this box. They had like the Phoenix Tears stuff, which was okay. This is a glycerin soap, uh, orange and vanilla. Ooh, I do like orange. Ooh, a little bit messy. Let's have a look. I can smell the orange. The only thing that I think would kind of put me off is that it looks painted because I think these are handmade. Is that gonna rub off when I use it and make my hands gold? Yes, very gold. I like the shape of it. I like the smell of it, but I'm not a fan of washing my hands with gold, but it's, it's nice. This will look nice to be displayed in a bathroom. But I think it's a bit hit and miss when it comes to bath products in these boxes because they are so personal, in my opinion. So yeah, it comes in a little golden bag as well. Ooh, hello. Oh, I recognize this. <laughs> Let me just get my DIY from my shelf. So this is my Gillyweed DIY that I did. And they've also done one. And apart from the label, it looks kind of identical. It's even got the little stones in the bottom and the twine around the top. Mm. Not trying to spill tea, but Yes. <laughs> so this is a gillyweed. There's a picture of a hand with, um, what are they called? Like little duck feet. What are they called? Um, webbed, webbed, webbed. Yes. Um, a magical plant that when eaten, mm hmm Okay, they are different. I was just checking. <gasps> when eaten, it allows a human to breathe underwater. It gives the consumer gills, allowing them to breathe underwater and webbing between the fingers and toes, allowing them to swim underwater with ease, which mine ends with that as well, which will allow you to swim underwater with ease. And I oop. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, so I'm not sure what they've put in theirs. I used lichen. This is different. It's kind of longer, which I guess is more authentic to the films because gillyweed is meant to look like long, kind of grassy rat tails. Um, it's interesting that they've put pebbles in the bottom because that's exactly what I did with mine. But uh, I do like it and you can never have enough gillyweed. It's just a little bit suspicious, just saying, but it's cute. I like it because I already made one. Okay, something has caught my eye. It's a little brown box which says constant vigilance. This reminds me of, oh, a little hiccup. Uh, Mad Eye Moody, could this be something related to him? <laughs> that's kind of sick, not gonna lie, that's really cool. This is a necklace which has Mad Eye Moody's eye on it. I actually personally love that. It's actually beautifully made. I think it's even made out of glass, wow. I've never seen anything like it, to be honest. That's actually really, really nice. Okay, that might be my second favorite thing in the box, maybe third favorite. It's very, very nice. I have nothing bad to say about that at all. I genuinely love that piece. So that's really, really awesome. Okay, let's move on then. Uh, we got some wiggly worms. Let's have a look at a paper product, which is in this plastic little baggie. It's gonna be a print of some sort, I imagine. If I can get it out. These quite difficult. Oh, there we go. I've had to rip it. What is this going to be? Oh. Is this like a colour in thing? And they've started it off for you. So we've got the maze at the bottom. Oh, so we've got all of the tasks. Task one, two, and three. And they've started colouring it for you, kind of. I'm not going to use it, um, personally. I'd, I'd it's nice if you're a younger wizard or witch, but as a collector, I'm not going to use it. Okay, so we have got a little tin, which Flitwick's Black Sea Durmstrang. We've got a Durmstrang candle, I believe. Let's see what it's like. Oh, it's red. Oh, it's red. Oh, that's exactly what I imagine Victor Crumb to smell like. It's like Lynx aftershave but really nice. It's got that kind of hot guy smell. <sighs> That's nice. I'd sniff that, I'm so single. I'm just like, yes, candle. <laughs> 
I do have a very large candle collection already. I really like the smell of it. Um, I'm not a big fan of the ones in tins. I like my candles to be in glass. And I like them to look a little bit prettier because take the stickers off this and it would just look like a red candle. It would just look kind of blank, but I do really like the scent. Oh, I have to quick smell that. Vegard sitting over here. Sniff the candle, did it smell like a hot guy? Oh, uh, it does smell like a boy. A boy? <laughs> well, you heard it here first. <laughs> okay, let's move on. I believe that we're coming to the end of the box and we have one item left. Let me just double check, yep. And it is a t-shirt, let's have a look. I think it's a t-shirt, it's quite a heavy t-shirt. They're made by Gildan, which is, I believe, the company that Geek Gear use, which are really good quality. I recognize the label. I'll just show you first. What's coming will come and we'll meet, what? What's coming will come and we'll meet it when it does. Who says that? I don't know the quote. What's coming will come and we'll meet it when it does. Well, the way it's typed is very Hagrid. It's like, what's coming will come and we'll meet it when it does. Uh, great Hagrid impression. <laughs> I don't instantly go, yes, Harry Potter. Uh, I like that it's black and white. I am currently a fan of the more simple t-shirt designs in the Harry Potter subscription boxes at the moment. I don't like them overcomplicated. I don't like them to be too tacky. I do like typography ones, but personally, I'm probably not going to wear it because I don't really <sighs> gel with the quote? I don't know. Okay, let's talk about this box. I've got many magical things in front of me. Let's talk about the strongest items from the Goblet of Fire Year 4 Asga box or the Wizarding Trunk. So I think you guys know what my favourite item is and if you don't, you're out to find out. So the um, nicest item in this box is the Rita Skeeter quill. It's beautiful. I've always wanted one. So to find this in a subscription box at this quality as well, thrilled. My, I do have, a, oh, I've got a few favourites. I think I have three items that I am obsessed with. The Mad Eye Moody necklace. It's wonderful. I really like it. It's great quality. It's not plastic. It feels high quality. And my third favourite item it's probably this because the concept of it is fantastic. The only thing that I wish was a little bit better was the beetle because it doesn't look realistic and I'm a big sucker for things looking legit. Everything else, um, there was a lot of bath products and like candles. I would prefer more things that I can display, but that's personal preference just because, as you can see, I love adding things to my Harry Potter shelves. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of bath products in subscription boxes, as I said already. They're personal preference and some of them, I don't know. I'm just not the biggest fan. So I probably won't use a lot of, I, I don't like hard soaps, but I do like how it looks. So I'll probably display this one in my bathroom. I will give the bath bomb chunks a go because it's just funny, bath bomb chunks. I'll probably sniff the candle a few times and add it to my candle collection. I feel as though with these boxes, everyone's doing candles. It's why I'm personally probably not gonna include candles in my own boxes because I just think they're overdone. But I do like sniffing things it's just that I don't use them because I have so many of them so I tend to just use the really nice ones in autumn and then they just sit in a box for the rest of the year which is a little bit sad I'd rather have stuff that I can put on these bad boys behind me my least favorite items from the box and there are a few of them I wasn't a fan of this egg in the bag I feel as though they could have done something a lot cooler because when I saw this bag I did get excited I was like oh they could have put like mini dragon replicas in there like all four of them or they could have put I know another subscription box has done it but they put like coins in there to represent each of the dragons so yeah it just it, it was kind of lost on me to put a handmade egg in it personally it just it feels like I could have made it myself I probably could have made it better yeah so that's one of my least favorite things uh, the patch We've seen it before, we've seen these little elf silhouettes a lot on socks, on badges. Just a little bit bored of seeing them, to be honest. I think that's covered most things. The artwork was fine. This made me very sad. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it was meant to do that. I did like the letter. Let's have a look at the cheat sheet real quick. So the Asga box year four, we had a quick quill for taking notes by twilling and tatting. We had a gillyweed bottle, the reporter in a jar, loved that. 
there. Prefect bath bomb pieces, and it says experience the colours and bubbles of a prefect's bath. So yeah, that is something to note. It is all of the primary colours, so you've got yellow, red, and blue in there, which have made some funky colours because it's been squished a little bit. We had the dragon egg infogram, which I'm guessing is that. The Growing Old print by JP Missilecrow. Magical brown glass, oh sorry. <laughs> Magical blown glass eye. So yeah, this is handmade by a glass blower, which is really cool, by Deep Creek Glassworks. The Spew Badge, the Spew Acceptance Letter, the Golden Egg Soap by Alchemy for the Skin, the Black Sea Candle, the Disgraced Elf Pin, the Three Tasks Print, and What's Coming Will Come Shirt. Um, so this was apparently just a print, but I just thought it was something to colour in. As a print, it's... It's, it's not that great. It looks like it's come from, you know, when you go to like restaurants and there's a little kitty section with some crayons, it looks like it's from that bit. Not to be too harsh, but it does. Um, so I'm not interested in that. We've had some fantastic items in this box. As per usual, all of this is my personal opinion. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. So leave a comment. Is there anything that you loved? Is there anything that you hated? Do you agree with me? I'd love to know down below. But yes, uh, overall, quite a strong box because there are three items that I am going to display and use. So I I count that as a win. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're having a lovely day and I'm looking forward to the next, the wizarding trunk boxes. I have to get used to that now. Okay, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye.